Hi, and welcome to Anne's Family Recipe. Today I'm making an easy chocolate bun cake with cream cheese frosting. This recipe was inspired by one of my favorite YouTubers right now. Her name is Dawn and her channel is called The Minimal Mom. She also has a blog that's called I Think We Could Be Friends.com and she explained that even though she pared down a lot of items in her kitchen, she hung on to her bundt cake pan because she makes a homemade bundt cake for every single birthday and celebration in their home. So I love Nothing Bundt Cakes, which is like a franchise. We have one near us here in Pittsburgh. They have these incredible, super moist, kind of dense but delicious bundt cakes with a really thick cream cheese frosting piped on top. So this is kind of a copycat recipe for that. So I'll have Dawn's YouTube channel and her blog linked below with the full recipe and there's all different kinds of flavor variations too for this semi-homemade bundt cake. Also I just wanted to give you a heads up that this footage was filmed way back in February for my daughter Emma's sixth birthday. So if you see her having a little party with some other friends it did not happen recently. Don't worry. Just like my white cupcake recipe that I recently shared and will link down below, this is another semi-homemade cake recipe that starts with a devil's food cake mix. To that, you're going to add one package of chocolate pudding and this keeps the cake really moist. Next is one cup of sour cream, which also adds moisture and richness. Next, I'm adding in four eggs, followed by a third a cup of vegetable oil and a half a cup of warm water. Next up is Hershey's chocolate syrup. So I just add a quarter cup of this. It sort of enhances that chocolatey flavor. You can also add in about a cup of mini chocolate chips at the end of mixing your batter together, but I wanted to keep this a smooth cake since I was serving it to kids. I feel like adding any kind of extra texture can sometimes go wrong when you're serving little kids. Lastly, I added in about a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then I beat everything together using my electric hand mixer until it was nice and smooth. I generously sprayed my bundt pan with baking spray. You definitely wanna do this anytime you're using a pan that has nooks and crannies and little crevices because you do not want your cake to stick. And then I used a rubber spatula to get all of the cake batter into the pan. This chocolatey bun cake bakes at 325 degrees for about an hour, but I would encourage you to start checking it around the 45 to 50 minute mark just so it doesn't overbake. While the cake cooled, I started on my cream cheese frosting. And it's so funny because I've made cream cheese frosting tons of times before, but I couldn't remember the exact ratio of butter to cream cheese. So the first recipe that I glanced at online, it said one stick of butter to one brick of cream cheese. And this cream cheese frosting was so ultra tangy and cream cheesy. If you like that, make it this way. But I would say a classic cream cheese frosting would be for every stick of butter, you would just add four ounces or half a brick of cream cheese. And it's not quite as tangy. But this was still really delicious. My husband and I loved it. It was kind of 50-50 with my daughter's friends at the birthday party. Some kids loved the frosting and other kids were like, ooh, this frosting's really sour. And I was like, uh, that's okay, you don't have to eat it. But I'm gonna whip together that cream cheese and butter until it's light and fluffy and then add in powdered sugar one cup at a time until I've added about four cups of powdered sugar. I'm also adding in a splash of vanilla extract. And then once the butter, cream cheese, and powdered sugar are all whipped together, then I'm adding in just about a tablespoon of heavy cream to thin it out to the right frosting consistency. And here I'm using a gallon size Ziploc bag as a makeshift pastry bag. I just put it inside a drinking glass and open it up, put all my cream cheese frosting inside, and then zipped it up and snipped off the corner and I could use it to frost my cooled cake. So since I was transporting this cake to my daughter's party, I inverted it onto the cake carrier base. You can see that here. I was trying to mimic the frosting from Nothing Bundt Cakes, and I should have just looked up a picture, but I didn't. And for some reason, I was thinking it was a continuous back and forth motion. But when I looked at it after the fact, it's just like single stripes going from the inside to the outside or vice versa, I'm not sure how they do it. But so mine got a little bit messy. It still looked cute. And of course it tasted amazing, but 
for decorating purposes if you wanted it to look a little bit more like nothing but cakes. I would just do individual stripes the whole way around the cake. And then to top it off and make it a little more festive, I had some rainbow sprinkles. My daughter loves sprinkles, so I put those all over the top. So this is the finished product. It doesn't look perfect, but I thought it was really cute and fun for my daughter's sixth birthday party. The cake tasted so great. It was rich and chocolatey. I really enjoyed it and it served a crowd. Six-year-olds eat so little, I forget. You know, I want like half the cake as my portion, but the six-year-olds ate like a couple bites and that was it. So we had so much to spare and we were enjoying this cake throughout the week. Happy birthday. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Anne's Family Recipe, and give this video a thumbs up if you like this chocolate bundt cake. Thank you so much for joining me here in my kitchen, and I'll see you again soon with another family recipe.